Chinese and Indian, but written by Iranian, American, African. Ask me if it's ever where you want, and let me see where is the head, where is the... Yeah, okay, one, two, three, you need somebody hold the bottom two. Okay, now, 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 if somebody hold it, this gentleman is holding everything. No, no, please. Okay, 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 now, so I suggest anyone who wants to come and touch a little bit on the top of it. This is embroidered like a velvet. But it has all the intricacies of little needed changes or the black and the white that exist in the language. Okay. We, who can read this? There is a book of my calligraphy that on purpose I put so many things in it. Chinese, Persian, Arabic, hieroglyphic, so that nobody else on the planet Earth can read the whole book. Okay? So the only book that I wrote that I can read the whole book, not anyone else. Now this one is called Gu Dao. Gu Dao. Gu is ancient. Dao is the origin of creation. So the word Dao, people translated it wrongly as the past. Actually it is not. It is called the primal, this is primal movement or the primal will, the origin of creation. The ancient it doesn't mean in time, it means in eternity. So that means it's the origin of all the movements of the universe. So it's called the divine origin, Buddha. And this is, believe it, it's correct. It is not my blood, but it is my thumb and the other thumb, and this is a stamp Chinese. But the power of this is that it has energy, too, it is embroidered in Sujo. The embroidery itself is at least several thousand dollars, that artist. But the calligraphy in the Chinese Ministry of Culture has rated it. Per square foot of my calligraphy is 10,000 US dollars. Rated and stamped and so. But this is not the original one, this is after the original turned into embroidery. If you want to get now a feeling of the original one. It is from Qianhui uh, Ge Fei. No, from the, the name. Hua Zhan. Oh, okay, okay. I can't see it. Okay. Hua Zhan. Hua Zhan. Thank you. It's very important to understand we are auctioning off this artwork and we're doing a silent auction raising funds for education in Africa. And Africa right now is the center of many points of growth. And right now, it's the focus for all of us to come together. Okay, we have two special guests here. If they can stand, Jean Marc and Sister Sylvie, can you please stand? They are from Congo visiting specially Dubai. And where is Sylvie, sister? No, she's here behind the camera. Ah, okay. I'm behind the camera. So uh, in front of every successful man should be a woman, no? Okay. Now, they are special envoys of Papa Simon Kimbango Kiangani. Papa Simon is a very unusual figure of divine sign divinity, uh, the head of a spiritual movement in Africa, the equivalent of the Pope of Africa, with 40 million followers. More important is that in the heart of the heart of Africa, that is central Congo, he has reared a community of millions in the villages whose feet still is in the mud because there is no development. But their head and heart are in the divine kingdom. They sing hymns every day, every moment. There are literally hundreds of thousands of highest level singing artists in the spirituality. And they have created a culture that there is no theft, no fighting, 
and every home they have, there is one extra room for visitors. So this is a very unusual experience. My friend, German friend said, this is like another planet on this planet. So if you want to have the experience, you go everywhere, go to the heart of the heart of Africa, that is the origin of human civilization. It's called Kamba, N-K-M-B-A, Kamba or the New Jerusalem. And they sing the songs when you go across the villages. New Jerusalem. So they are singing and chanting the songs. He knows that. Yeah. Okay, Africa. Africa 